Welcome to my governor prediction for May, so let's begin in Kentucky. So in this state, as you can see, Andy Bashir is doing quite well. He is very popular and that's helping him a lot, even in, in this ruby red state. In the Democratic primary, not much to be uh, said here. Uh, the same people, Martin and Jeffrey Young, are still running. Andy Bashir has the money and, uh, and look at how much cash he has on hand, so that's... He's pretty much good in the primary. Well, for the GOP, things have changed quite a lot. So here's Cameron, who is the front runner at the moment, but Kelly Craft is getting a lot, and I mean a lot of money. So if we go down to the donors, you can clearly see that Cameron is being outspent by a lot by uh, by Craft. She has raised uh, six more times money than Cameron, and has spent ten times more than him. At the moment so that's something that has really really hurt Cameron as you can see in the latest polling it does show Kraft even that's only one poll it does show Kraft gaining momentum in the primary so this is something to watch out for and if Daniel Cameron doesn't do something quick then this race could really get uh, quite competitive which will hurt the GOP to not be united in this uh, race here's the independence the general election predictions, most of them have them as either toss-ups or lean D. And yeah, so moving on, right here you can see that Cameron would give Andy Bashir a run of it for his money, technically. But uh, most pollsters do think that if Kraft is the GOP nominee, then Andy Bashir could easily win. I don't think it would be by this margin, by the way. But I do reckon if Kraft is the nominee, then this race could likely, I mean, could very well be even bigger than 2019 by a decent margin. Uh, I reckon it could even be like likely D with Kraft. But I still think that Cameron will be the GOP nominee. And that will be harder for Bashir in 2023. But I reckon that Andy Bashir will defeat Daniel Cameron by a margin of 2% to 4%, so 3% currently in Kentucky. So he wins re election. And yes, because he's popular and he will get a lot of money from donors, of course. Now for Louisiana. This is another seat that is held by the Democrats, but John Bell Edwards, uh, I mean, he can't run again, so that's gonna be quite difficult for Democrats to keep this seat. And that is because of the fact that, in, you know, uh, he is uh, term limited, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's term limited. Of course, so for the Democrats, the person that is leading in the polls uh, is Sean Wilson, the former secretary of the State Department of Transportation and Development. There's also people like Cole, a pastor running, Gary Smith, who may uh, declare to run in the near future, but Sean Wilson is clearly the Democrat frontrunner currently. And you know, Gary Chambers, he endorsed Wilson because he declined. So that's big news for Sean Wilson, who is probably going to be the Democrat nominee in Louisiana, while for the GOP, it's almost said and done that Jeff Landry will be the GOP nominee in this race. He has all the endorsements and the money coming to him, so I'm surprised there's even this many Republicans running because that's just gonna make the Republican vote uh, slimmer overall because it's a jungle primary here, so that's another issue for the for both parties to resolve around. Uh, and yeah, you can see the endorsements right here for Jeff Landry, who's probably going to become the governor of the state soon. Uh-huh, there's Sean Wilson, but yeah. Most pollsters do see this as lean R, or likely R, and as a flip for the GOP, I'm surprised there's not a poll here because I've seen polls actually showing, you know, uh, Wilson, uh, showing uh, Landry defeating uh, Wilson by a, some, by a margin, so let's go right here. And for Louisiana, the margin, I think, the Landry or whatever happens, or whoever the GOP nominee is, but it's probably going to be Landry. Uh, I think because it's it's in an odd year, the margin may drop down from safe far, which usually is to likely are. I reckon Landry will win here against Wilson by uh, 9% to 11%, which is still a major flip for the GOP in Louisiana and a major blow for the Louisiana Democrats and lastly let's go 
to one of my favorite races, and that is Mississippi. So Mississippi, back in 2019, uh, here's uh, Louisiana, by the way. It was a Tate Reeves win by barely five, uh, five percent. And let's go right here. It's gonna be an interesting race, mostly because of Brandon Presley being the Democrat nominee, who is a very good candidate. But it's a really, really ruby red state for the Republican primary. Tate Reeves, uh, he will run. And already has declared, of course, if you didn't see my last video, my last prediction. There's also two more people in this time. There's Witcher, Physician, Hard Degree, a veteran. And there's a lot of people that have declined, as you can see here. Uh, for the Democrat primary, uh, Brandon Presley is likely to run without any other major opponents within the Democrat party because that's just the smartest thing and it's really the best chance that the Democrats have at uniting the Democrats uh, behind Presley and he was a, a public service commissioner from the Northern District so that's we're gonna see a lot of Trump Presley voters there. Independence, uh, there's uh, Gwendolyn Gray but no one big that will make this race into a uh, three-way election so Endorsements right here, and for the polling right here. The latest one was from March, and it does show Reeves uh, getting 46%, while Brandon Presley, Presley has 39, 39%, but bear in mind, there's still 15% undecided, so... Anything could happen if uh, Presley does well with those undecided voters, and theoretically, he could win here. It's gonna be really interesting what will happen in this race, because Dave Reeves is quite an unpopular uh, incumbent was very lucky to be in, in a, such a ruby red state like Mississippi because if this was like Louisiana or Kentucky, I think Presley would be the early front runner. But this will all come down to how many Trump Presley voters there will be, and how how down bad uh, Tay Reeves is with his, is with his popularity. Come November, there's also the economy that could affect not only Mississippi but the Kentucky and Louisiana. If the economy dips by then, then I think it's a Republican win easily for Tay Reeves. But for now, I'm, I'm really between two margins. I'm between Lean R and Tol R. I think both could easily occur in 2023. But I think that Presley is such a decent candidate that he would be able to get that many Trump voters. Uh, Trump. Presley voters in North that it could actually drop to tilt R and I do have Reef still winning but I think he wins by I'm guessing like 0.5% to 0.75% for now. I may change this margin in the near future either to the left or either to the right. But yeah the Republicans pick up one seat that being Louisiana and the GOP wins with two seats against the Democrats' one seat in 2023. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a like, join the channel membership, and see you next time.